tell you what, when they kick the Lord out, this is what they get. That Madeline old hair, she had a, a, a really bad hair need to her story. When she was out there, successfully got God out of all the schools, out of prayer, out of this, out of that, out of this. Now they're trying to shut down, her organization now is trying to shut down Christian broadcasting. They're after that now. And uh, when we were there, God pulled us in. <laughs> so it's very, very simple. It's, it's so simple, it's hard <laughs> to you. You know, you bow your head. You repent seriously from your heart. You don't play around. And you ask the Lord to come in your life and change it. And the construction starts. Build the suit. He's going to build your life the way that he wants it to be built. And, and I tell you, the way he wants it is a whole lot better than we've been building it. He's going to go through that house and empty out all the drawers. He's going to have a garage sale! Oh. <laughs> Get rid of When we have garage sales, what do we do? Get rid of all that stuff we don't want. This morning, the Lord is going to have a garage sale going to throw out that hatred, throw out this bitterness, throw out that revenge. Well, maybe that pot that you got stashed away in the sock drawer, you might throw that out there, you know. Not like it's going to go. I don't give up a pot, man. Jeez, I'll give up everything else, but I got to smoke my dope. I can't make it without my dope. Ah, you doper. <laughs> So many of us back in the old days, man, we were doing all kinds of drugs, this and that, and this, blah, 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 blah. And then when we come to know, know the Lord, they'll say, well, I'll stop taking LSD, and I'll stop taking speed, but, you know, weed is okay, just a little bit of weed. You know, the Lord, it grows out there, right? It's natural, it's a natural herb. Well, so is poison ivy. Go grab yourself a batch of that and start it all around. Ah! Gonna go get some camel line motion, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Don't do that 10 minute oil change, man. Get rid of it all. Have the grind sale. Get rid of all of it. Throw it all down. Throw it all out. You know, when the ship is sinking, what do they do out there in the ocean? They start throwing things out. Woo, this is, man, boom, this is too heavy. Boom, this is too heavy. Man, you're in, you're, you Man, I thought of one last thing and I'll crown talk with. I haven't talked in a while, so I, <laughs> I'm all bent, bent it up. It's bent it up. How's that? What's the intellectual thing? <laughs> I'm all bent up. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, the, I, I saw a movie with uh, 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 Humphrey Bogart, uh, Kane Mutiny. What a movie. What a movie about human nature and so on. And I looked at that Navy ship and all the, the sailors on it. I wouldn't want to be no Navy man. Don't get me wrong. No, sir, I like to stay on this side of land. I, I would go crazy out in the ocean every day. I, I, could, I couldn't take it. That's why I never got to the Navy. But the ships are so clean. All the, all the men know what they're doing. Everybody's got their job. I mean, if you were stranded out in the ocean, man, wouldn't you want a Navy ship to come by and pick you up? Oh, God. Then you get on that Navy ship, everything is clean, it's beautiful, everybody's happening. It's run like a, like a, uh, a Swiss wrist watch. <laughs> I have to say that slow because, you know, I'm, I'm working with no teeth. <laughs> and they say that the S's are hard to say. <laughs> I do a pretty good job. You wouldn't even know I had no teeth if I didn't tell you. <laughs> I would do it pretty good. I can't get used to them. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just starting to get used to glasses. i got to wear them. You know, there's no choice about it. I, I've been hearing and hawing about them, but now I have to wear them. That's it, point blank. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> but anyhow, 
Here we are out in that ocean, and the Navy ship is coming by this morning. And the Lord is going to roll down. They have those stairs that come down. And you walk up the Navy ship. And everybody, all those men, all clean cut, by the way, and they invite you in. So your ship is waiting this morning. So, enough said. Can everybody bow their heads with me for a minute? Serious business now, okay? Come on. Think about this now. Think about this. The Lord brought you here this morning, whatever reason he got you here, and he wants to come into your life. He wants to change it this morning. Now, if you want to take heed to that call, then I want you to repeat this prayer after me silently to yourself. And it goes as follows. Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Wash me clean in your blood that you shed on Calvary. Come into my heart. Make me a new person. Give me the strength to follow you. I turn my back on my old life. Now while our heads are still bowed, for those of you that prayed that prayer, could you raise your hands for me please? Raise them up real high so I can see them. Alright, could you all stand up for me for a second? Come on, I'm not embarrassing you, come on. I'm not an embarrassing type of person. Okay, now, for all you guys that stood up, can you come on up here for a second? Come on up here by me. I want to give you a hug and stuff. Is that okay? <laughs> I don't do hugging. But I can get one this morning. <laughs> oh! <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah, that the Lord is good. The Lord is good. 